Look beautiful. Here we go. Let's dive in. So we're going to start with a pike push-up, and we will use your dumbbells, but we're not going to really adjust the weights much today. You're just going to use your dumbbells to brace yourself in the push-up position. So starting in a pike position with your hands on top of your dumbbells and your butt in the air, you'll raise one leg up and then drop down into that push-up position. So if this is too difficult, you can always modify this by going onto your knees and then keep your butt elevated in the air still and do your push-up like that, okay? So we'll start like this, tight push-up, drop down, a little pause at the bottom, we'll do a one second pause and then drive it up. So you wanna ensure that your chest falls right in between the dumbbells and then if you push up, you're squeezing your chest. Five, get that good pause and squeeze. Six, let me know if you have any questions. Eight, we'll keep this one leg up the whole time, then we'll switch the next round. 10, 11, 12, three more. Three, little pause, up two, last one. Excellent. Now we'll flip over on your back, on your mat or carpet, and we'll go into an atomic sit-up. Okay, so I'll show you a couple modifications. The full atomic sit-up is where your feet are elevated, pop up and reach for your heels. You can always do this by just keeping your feet on the ground. All right, here we go. And up, one, two. Draw those knees in toward your chest. Six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go to 15, 10, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, back to pike push-ups. So we'll bring your dumbbells back in. All right. Turn off my phone. Now your opposite leg will be up in the air this time. Next leg up in the air, dropping down, pause at the bottom and push up. We'll do 15 more reps. You'll inhale as you come down, You'll exhale as you push up. If you need to modify the number of reps, certainly feel free to do that. I think we got five more. Five. Four, squeeze the chest. Three, two, and one. All right, set those off the mat. Back to atomic sit-ups. On your back, long stretch, hop up. One, two, three, keeping your torso long. Five, reach for the heels. Six, exhale at the top. Very good, 10. As we're looking good. 13, 14, 15. Excellent. And that's totally fine Can you keep your feet on the floor on those. You'll still get some good core work just in a sit-up position with the feet resting. Okay, now for this final round, we'll switch legs halfway in between this one. So we'll do eight on one leg, seven on the next. Here we go. Leg in the air, drop that chest down. Pause and push. Make sure to keep your chest out so that you're not using too much shoulder. Six, 
Seven. Should be burning. Eight. Next leg up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Draw the elbows in as you push up. And rest. Woo. You guys feel those? Yep. How's it feeling? Good. All right, back to atomic sit-ups. Long stretch. Pop up into the V. Reach for the heels. Good, seven, eight, ten, five, keep squeezing those abs, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Oh, oh nice work. All right, now we'll move the dumbbells out of the way here. We'll do another push-up. So for any of these push-ups that we're gonna do, and in fact, the next round, we'll stay in a modified push-up position. You can always start on your knees. And if you are doing a modified push-up, it's best to have a little more cushion underneath your knees. So you might have a towel down, something that allows your knees to be a little more cushioned. So for the next round, we're gonna do a Spider-Man push-up. Spider-Man push-up, you'll draw your knee in toward your elbow as you do a push-up, and then you'll switch. So we'll do them in a full push-up position. Okay, even if a, if a Spider-Man push-up is hard, even on your knees in a modified position, you can always just turn it into a floor press. So I call these a floor press where you lie all the way down on the floor, and then just push your body off of the floor and come back down. All right, here we go. Spider-Man push-ups. Drop down, down, push. Alternating that leg as you draw it in toward your elbow. Don't let your knee touch the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, one more, 12. All right, nice job. Now we'll grab your light dumbbells. I'm using 20 pounders here to start with. We're gonna do a pullover. So on a pullover, your knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, arms stay straight the whole time. Bring dumbbells back to the floor and then pull over your head. And then we'll come right up into a sit up. <clears throat> Pull over, then sit up. Just like that. You need a little momentum here to swing yourself up. Going to 12. Keep your hips down the whole time. Three more. Two. Oh, last one. Work. Nicely done. All right, set those off to the side. Go back to our Spider-Man push-ups. Whew, you should be hurting. Again, if you need to do these modified on your knees, you can try it that way, or all the way starting from the floor. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Ten, two more. 
11, 12, oh, oh, oh. yes, man, I feel those, you guys are doing awesome, it's a little harder to see y'all operating on the floor, I hope I'm good, back to pullovers on your back, so on the pullover, we're targeting serratus muscle, which is on the front side of your lat, just so want to keep those arms long, squeeze underneath your armpit, as you swing up. Here we go. Long stretch. Ooh. Explode into that sit up. Looking good. What is that, five reps? Uh, Good, six. You guys are all quiet. <laughs> you hanging in there? Yep. Good. Nine. Ten. There you go, at the top, extend that torso real long. And 12. Woo! Nice work. All right. Third round. This is where we make our money, as it used to say in the Marine Corps. This is where it all pays off. Round three. Spider Man push ups. Oh, yeah. Starting to sweat now. Here we go. Meow and push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, easy three, two, one, whoo, baby. Oh, I should be feeling that in the chest. Great effort. Great effort. So by virtue of doing chest, we're gonna get a lot of indirect core work as well. And I've mixed in a lot of direct core work, like these pullover sit-ups. So strengthening the core, building the chest and triceps. And here we go. next movement that we're going to do is in a modified push-up position so now you want something underneath your knees for sure and we'll do this with your dumbbells again just using them as support but go ahead and put your dumbbells to a weight that you can do on a chest fly so we'll be doing chest flies on your back after the push-up so the first thing we'll do is a modified push-up so your knees will stay down. So we're going through the full range of chest exercises in order to hit top, middle, lower portion of the chest. So this will target the lower portion. You're gonna always drop your chest in between your hands and then push up. And we'll do these with a slow negative. So you'll drop down three, two, one, push. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, push. So let those elbows come out. As you push up, you draw them in. Four, 
three, one, five. Slow things down. Six, halfway there. Your knees start sliding back like mine do. Just adjust as you need to. Eight. Nine. Three more. Three. Looking good. Again, if you need to drop all the way down to the floor, just move your dumbbells out of the way and do floor presses. 12. Excellent job. Now you'll pick up those dumbbells. I'm still using 20s here. You can adjust your weight as needed if you have that ability. On your back now in that same position that we were in before, you're going to drop your dumbbells to the floor with arms wide. Draw the elbows together. There we go. Down and up. So just a slight bend of the elbows the whole time on this. Your arm position won't change. Three. Your hands should stay in line with your chest throughout the whole movement. Very good. It's looking good. Six. Nice controlled negative. Seven. Really draw your elbows toward each other. Eight. If you have really light weights, just go super slow on that negative. And keep your chest elevated the whole time. Draw the elbows, squeeze the chest. Last one. 12. Excellent. All right. Set those weights down. We'll flip them around again in a modified push-up position. With that slow negative. Here we go. Down slow. And push. One. Two. Three. Looking good. Four. How's the chest feeling? Feeling it? Six, seven, as we focus, eight, nine, should be burning, three more, three, draw the elbows in as you squeeze up, last one, oh yeah, Woo. now the chest is getting hammered, hang in there, we got two more, one and a half more rounds of this. And then we'll switch to triceps. Show me some triceps and a little more core. Here we go. Down. Squeeze. Three. Four. Anybody sweating? Oh yeah. Good. Six. Liquid productivity. Good way to start the day. Eight. Nine. Three more. Three. Two. Last one. Excellent. Nice job. Lisa, are you sweating with that air conditioner on? I still am. Are you really? Nice. All right. Here we go. Dropping down. Three, two, one, one. Three, two, one, two. Got 12 final reps on these. Big breath in as you go down. Exhale as you push up. That breathing is so important on all these movements. I think that was nine. Let's get three more. Three. Two. One. Excellent job. And you're always training your mind to be able to connect with the muscle group that we're focusing on. And you'll get better at doing that if you're newer to resistance training. As you continue to develop, the mind will connect more to the proper muscle groups. Here we go. 
chest is what we're focusing on today. So you want to relax your shoulders. Your body continually wants to work smaller muscle groups because it's looking for the path of least resistance. So if it can get away with using a smaller muscle group, that's what it would prefer to do because it likes to operate under the law of energy protection, energy reduction. Five more. Energy conservation, that's what I was looking for. Four, three more. Three. We gotta train it to work those bigger muscle groups. Last one. There we go. Nice work. Great job. All right. Now, for this last one, I'm gonna move my mat out of the way here because we're gonna do a little bit more movement. We'll focus. <coughs> We got one more round of push-ups, and this one will be focused on your triceps. So you grab a drink of water, clear your space. And we'll move into a tricep push-up. You'll still use your dumbbells for support. Now your hands will be a lot closer together. So you want them fairly close together for this one. So your chest Shouldn't be able to drop all the way down between the dumbbells. You want to keep your dumbbells close. Okay, so we're gonna do a tricep push-up jackknife. So it'll look like this. Drop down, push up, bring your knees in, and then come back. So you can do these in modified position again. And if you need to do these without the jackknife, you can certainly do that. You can always do modified and then pop up, do a jackknife, come back down and do these. Here we go. Two, three, four, we got 12 reps. Five. Keep those elbows pinched in at the side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice work. All right, now I'm gonna stick with my 20 pounders. We'll come up into a bent over position and do a reverse grip tricep kickback. So supine grip with your hands underneath the dumbbells. There we go. Then down, back flat, keep that lower back tucked in and kick back. One, two, three, four, Going to 15 on these. Squeeze it. You need to adjust the weight. Feel free to do so. Four. Three. Two. Excellent. Woo. Set those down. Shake it out a little bit. Get the pool of sweat going. Guys are looking good. Here we go. A couple more rounds. Keep pushing. We haven't even hit our two-minute warning yet. Push it up and attack. Two, three, four, five. It's about to get fun. Seven, eight. Keep using those triceps. Three. Two, one, two, yes, feeling those, nice work, all right, tricep kickbacks, here we go, you guys are looking good, bending down, kicking back, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, 
easy three. Three. One. Oh, yes. Nice job. Set them down. Do a quick tricep stretch. Pull that elbow behind the head. Reach down the middle of the back. Stretch one. Stretch the other. Give them just a little break. Alexa, stop. Got our two minute warning. Now we're gonna go back to tricep push ups. All right, it's the last round. Money maker round. Here we go. This is where it burns. Savor it. Make it work for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep pushing. Easy three. Three, two, one. Oh, great work. Great work. <laughs> nice job. We got one more tricep kickback. You guys go and hang it in there? Yep. Good. All right, here we go. 15 reps. Nice flat back. Kick back. One, two, three, four. It's meant to burn the muscles. Could be feeling really fatigued. Ten. Good thing. Five. Four. Three. And one. Ah. Get them down. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's burning. Take it out. Do another tricep stretch. Pat yourself on the back. Job well done. <laughs>